Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Oh, glorify your name, Lord. We praise you. We thank you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let us keep both our hands on our heart and believe God the Almighty. One second, please. God the Almighty is very near to us. <laughs> very near to us. St. Augustine says in Catechism, Paragraph 300, he says, he says, he says, God is higher, God is higher than my highest and more inward than my innermost self. God is more inward than my innermost self. This God, the creator of heaven and earth, is in our innermost self. So let us feel that through a feeling, believing, Oh God, you are right within me. Like St. Augustine was crying, Oh Lord, all these years I was searching you everywhere. But while you were already in my innermost, how foolish man I was. How foolish I was that I did not know that you were in my innermost. Now I found you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Come on, everybody. Let us also have that type of a repentance. Oh, Lord, I have been searching you everywhere. But while you are already in me, in my innermost, in my innermost, in my innermost, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Father. I love you, Holy Spirit. I adore you. I adore you. Father, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love you. Jesus, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love you. Spirit, we adore you. Lay our lives for you. How we love you, Trinity, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love. Let us feel the presence of the Lord deep within us. And that Lord, Jesus said, the true worshipper will worship God in spirit. God is spirit. God is a person, but spirit. That is why he could dwell in us. If he was a person, visible person, he could not enter into us. 
he becomes spirit even the resurrected lord is spirit therefore he could enter into us he really lives in us let us feel his presence he is love he is compassion he is tender love remember one word jesus spoke jesus said i am the resurrection and life i am the way truth and life i am your good shepherd the good shepherd will give life for his sheep greater love than this no one has to lay down life for his friends yes lord i believe lord i believe lord and that you are eternal that you are omnipotent that you are risen lord tu hi deta he tan ko punar jeevan he magate si hum sab ke prabhu ji gan gaate let us recognize that god हे सबके प्रभु तेरे स्तुति हो ईसा मसी तेरे जय हो क्योंगी तू हमारे शरीर को पुनरुज्जीवन देने वाला है और हमारी आत्मा को उद्धार करने वाला है बिलीव दैट इन ही सेकेंड कमिंग when the lord come again he will give resurrection to the whole humanity shana hana 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 that god who is omnipotent who is alpha and omega who is eternity to eternity one god yet he lives in our soul तू ही देता है तन को पुनर्जीवन तू ही कहता है आत्मा का उठा देता है जीवन तू ही करता है आज 
Let us concentrate once again, believing that this omnipotent, omniscient, omniscient, Jo Sarva Shaktiman Parameshwar, Jo Sarva Vyabi hai, O Hamare Hadaipar. And that God who is from eternity to eternity, same God, who is same yesterday, today, and forever, who will raise all the people into his resurrection. And that God is in us. Once again, let us praise God, praising him in us. That is the most holy trinity. Pita teri vantana karte he Jeevan teri vantana karte he Everybody. Jeevan teri Rakhte hai Rakhte hai Yeshu teri vandana ka Focus in dwelling. Keep your hand on your heart. Then uh, he's inside you. He's dwelling in us. He's dwelling in us. Jeevan Teri Charano Mein Regate Hum Tujhe Pyaar Now Tujhe Pyaar Karate Hum Tujhe Pyaar Karate हकीकत में सचमुच में हे प्रभु माय प्यार आई लव यू जीसस पर्सनली यू टेल हिम आई लव यू जीसस आई लव यू जीसस बिलीविंग जीसस लिव्स इन अस एज द रिजन लॉर्ड 
as the greatest power almighty power so we can love him and remember another part of the liturgical prayer after the institution in the anaphora he prabhu tere aadesh anusar hum bhi tere durbal deen heen sevak tere sanidhya mein ekatra huye hain tune hum par itna upakar kiya hai jiska उचित धन्यवाद देना हमारे लिए असंभव है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रेयर तेरी ईश्वरीय जीवन में हमें सहभागी बनाने के लिए तूने हमारा मानव स्वभाव अपनाया सब लोग बोलिए तेरे ईश्वरीय जीवन में हमें सहभागी बनाने के लिए तूने हमारा मानव स्वभाव अपनाया can you believe this that he took our human nature and gave his divine nature ye mushkil hai to believe is not easy this but this is the truth that is how he is dwelling in us he is dwelling in us and we are dwelling in him because he took our human nature and he gave his divine nature that is the mystery of christmas the holy the the marvelous exchange even if we are we are we have limitations we have weaknesses we have failures he knows all that thing we are not holy he knows that but he took in that holiness in that sinfulness he took us so that is why it is written here tune hamara मानव स्वभाव अपनाया तूने हम पतितों का उद्धार किया हम मृतकों को जीवन दिया हम पापियों को पवित्र किया हम पाप ही थे तब प्रभु हमें प्यार किया ऐसा मत सोचो हम एकदम पवित्र होगा तभी प्रभु हम पर निवास करेगा ऐसा नहीं वही है सुसमाचार इन रोमन्स चैप्टर फाइव रोमन्स चैप्टर फाइव सिक्स सेस व्हेन वी वेर सिनेस रोमन्स चैप्टर फाइव सिक्स फॉर क्राइस्ट वाइल वी वेर स्टिल हेल्पलेस ये डाइड एट द अपॉइंटेड टाइम फॉर द अनगॉडली indeed only with difficulty does one die for a just person perhaps for a good person one might even find courage to die but god proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners christ died for us okay now we can sit down my dear friends in evangelizing a very important part of a training of evangelization is 
first of all we should have a quality personal prayer quality personal prayer personal prayer is not praying any prayer but having a personal intimacy with the lord and there are certain elements important elements that i am now going to lead you through this prayer and later on i will give you a leaflet which is a little guidance but again that is not a prayer you have to read and repeat like many other vocal prayers it is a guidance how our personal holiness is important our personal holiness means it is not only cleansing in another way it is a it is a divinization divinization we have to be divinized imagine suppose you have been asked to do a preaching and you come to preach without any personal prayer what will be that situation and suppose you pray at least one hour personal prayer and fill yourself with the grace and the holy spirit then what will be the situation just imagine so in mark's gospel chapter 1 mark you know <laughs> when i speak about mark and luke i have to say something among the four evangelists the church fathers teaches us matthew mark luke john matthew and john they are apostles both ends beginning matthew apostle last john apostles whereas mark and luke were not apostles they were ordinary lay people understand and the church fathers saint jerome says from that time itself the lord has planned the role of the lay people in evangelization is equal to the apostles imagine and later on mark became a bishop but luke remained to be a ordinary layman but he is a doctor a very learned person but a gentile so among all the holy scripture writers luke is a gentile and he is the one who contributed the great part of the new testament that is the luke's gospel and the acts of apostles and he is the one who explained more about prayer more about the holy spirit more about the childhood time of jesus more about mother mary mystery of incarnation more about the divine mercy of god there are some special chapters of luke luke chapter 15 the prodigal son luke chapter 19 the sakeus the the magnificat and benedictus these are all speciality of luke but yet he is a layman a greek that is not a jew a gentile so god works in such a <laughs> mysterious way okay now coming to mark in mark gospel begins with this salutation gospel of 
Jesus Christ, Son of God. Gospel of Jesus Christ, Son of God. That is how Mark's Gospel begins. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Whereas Matthew's Gospel begins with genealogy of Jesus Christ, son of Abraham, son of David. That is, son of man. Whereas Mark begins with Jesus, son of God. Now, in that first chapter, Jesus, who is son of God, means God himself. But at the end of that chapter, verse 35, it is written, Raising very early in the morning, before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. He prayed. So, Jesus said, follow me. Follow me in my lifestyle. Follow me what I do, even as God. Even as God, my daily routine is to get up before dawn and pray. I know all of you are praying early morning. But we have to grow into a quality prayer. I get up morning 3.30. I have already done two big uh, live events in the, TV, in the, in the YouTube. 4.30 and 5.30 and 6.30 in that and I came. So in order to do that event at 4.30, I get up at 3.30, I do my personal prayer and then I proclaim. And whole day you saw I am working here. Have you felt I am tired? What do you think? So, our strength comes from our prayer. No need of complaining to anybody, anything. <laughs> I don't think ever I say, I am tired. <laughs> that is not in my dictionary. If I say I am tired, that only means that I have not done my personal prayer properly. So evangelization is a transmission of the experience of Christ. So how do we have that experience? The way Jesus himself did. Early in the morning, before dawn, he went to a deserted place and he prayed. He prayed. So my dear friends, that is the heart of our Christian life. So for you, particularly as priest and religious, it is there in your timetable. But, <laughs> kling, 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 bell rings, ah, you run to the chapel, you sit there. Now what happens? We don't know. <laughs> Sometimes our sleep is not complete, so you will continue to sleep. So, if you, suppose, your dad is coming in the railway station morning 3.30. Will you sleep? <laughs> you will run to the railway station awake because your dad is coming. The most loving person is coming. So, our prayer becomes active when we think a person is waiting for me. My lover is waiting for me. My lover is waiting for me. The one who loves me is waiting for me. 
That is the easy way. This is not uh, new, you know, this is Mr. Shaji, Peter. We are more than 25 years back. We together go to the Adoration Center in Kerala at morning 3.30. Driving, he drive and take me to the Adoration Center and we used to pray. Sometimes my wife say, oh, now you are tired, don't go. But I, 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 no, 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 I have to go because somebody is waiting there for me. Somebody is waiting there for me. Even now when I am in Germany, 3.30 is my adoration time. So sometimes the organizers say, you take rest, you have come after journey. No, 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 somebody is waiting there for me. That personal, so personal prayer means not reciting some prayer. No, it is a person waiting for you, meeting him and what he wants to do with you. That's important. Okay, so having said this, I will lead you this prayer now. Now, you must recognize the person God is in you as a person. God is in you a person and God is a person. You know when this romance started? This romance started because from the creation from the creation. <laughs> in, in John Paul II's teaching, he says, co-naturality, co-naturality, the co-naturality. C-O-N-N-A-T-U-R-A-L-I-T-Y. C O N N A T U R A L I T Y. Co naturality. You know what means co naturality? That God and man, from the moment of creation, we are one. The co naturality. Before we were created, God knew us and He loved us and He wanted to create a person with whom He can be, He can be one, He can have an intimacy. So that is our origin. God created so many things. But they are not a person. He created elephant. He created horse. He created beautiful sun and moon. They are not person. But human being, he created as a person. For what? So that he can have a community. He can have a communion. He can have an intimacy. That is the connaturality. So God created us for a personal relationship. So that God is not loving us from outside. He loves us from inside. So in Isaiah, so many places it is written, the Lord is a hidden God. Hidden. He is inside us. He is hiding. That is the way, you know, as children we used to play hide and seek. Correct? Hide and seek. We will hide and some, and then we are looking for. So the Lord is hiding inside us. 
and he is watching are you looking for me or you are looking for somebody else then he when we look for him he is happy ah yes 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 yes, yes. such type of a romantic love then we will not feel sleepy okay now for our purpose now is we are in the world with in the midst of so many pluralism sinfulness and so many bad things so the first thing the lord want to do is to cleanse us to wash us suppose say child is playing in the mud the mummy said hey dear what are you doing oh you are now so much dirt on you come 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 i will cleanse you and the mummy take her into the bathroom give a shower clean her put cream on her put powder on her put a nice dress ah now you are tip top so the lord is looking us and he wants to clean us always because from many sources so many type of unholiness can enter in us so that is exactly jesus did in the before his sacrifice and passion or before institution of the priesthood institution of the sacrament he said i will wash you i have come to serve you he took away his outer garment he took a linen to be like a slave so it was a custom of israel anybody go out must wash when they come in very simple because when you are going out you will have dirt so the same thing he took as a sacramental like a sacrament to cleanse us and in 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 hebrews chapter 9 hebrews chapter 9 14 or 13 and following hebrews chapter 9 13 and 14 for the blood of gods and bulls and with sprinkling of hay face ashes can sanctify those who are defiled in that their flesh is cleansed in the old testament the sprinkling of the blood was cleansing the flesh the sprinkling of the blood of the animal cannot cleanse their sin from the soul only the flesh if so how much more would 14 how much more will the blood of christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to god cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living god so that is the sacrament he is instituting the purpose of all the sacraments the first purpose is to make us holy 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 sacrament of eucharist sacrament of confession sacrament of baptism sacrament of conf- everything is for cleansing in different way to make us holy so also every prayer is also must be aimed for cleansing and empowerment sanctification and empowerment suppose now do you want to use this cup to drink a coffee what will you do you will first cleanse it then fill it 
what do you do early in the morning as soon as you get up you will cleanse your mouth you cleanse your face you cleanse your body that's it so cleansing of our inner self is very important so now let us try believing this cleansing god who want to cleanse us where is he he is right within us now we have to we have to consecrate that is our consecration that is to offer offer our soul our mind now everybody now you don't write you just do this i will give you the personal prayer that has all these thing written now you pray this i will lead you in this prayer you can close all your books only you go as i guide you believe that this sanctifying god that is jesus and the holy spirit the most holy trinity is in you and we submit our inner inner self inner self oh lord i submit my soul i offer my soul my soul needs lot of sanctification oh lord i surrender i offer my soul oh lord through your precious blood and your grace sanctify my soul cleanse my soul i don't know there may be many impurities in my soul i offer my conscience it is in the conscience i know and recognize what is right and wrong if that conscience is impure how can i know what is right or wrong sanctify my conscience god sanctify my conscience sanctify my conscience lord cleanse my conscience i submit my unconscious subconscious and conscious mind and memories oh holy spirit oh loving jesus i submit my memory my unconscious mind from my childhood onwards so many painful memories hurting memories cruel words of others cruel dealing of others rejections betrayal and charity hatred oh jesus you also has gone through all this emotions cleanse my unconscious cleanse my subconscious cleanse me lord now as you pray waiting oh lord you may remember some very very painful you say oh, no no i don't want to remember no remember it offer to jesus and forgive those persons oh lord i was very bitterly treated even by own my by own my parents or my relations 
all the superiors or my friends now i want to forgive them oh cleanse me from all that bitterness the painful situations all those memories the memories which are not from the father sanctify me lord cleanse me lord i surrender my senses my ears eyes tongue touch all my senses through the senses many impurities entered in me oh lord wash my senses wash my senses cleanse my senses it is through the senses holy spirit also work in the charisms the charisms work through our senses seeing visions listening the voice experiences of touch oh lord cleanse my senses oh lord i surrender my imagination my thinking i started imagining and thinking so many so many so many unrealistic things but then in reality it is something else oh lord cleanse my imagination cleanse my thinking my thinking sometimes is very very low level whereas god has given me ability to think like god jesus said to peter get away satan you are thinking is like human being not like god god gives us ability to think like god think sanctify me lord and our relationship with our friends our community members our parents do we keep any hatred saint paul says even if you have gifts like angels but without love you are nothing even if you have faith but without love you are nothing if you have got gift of tongues and prophecy but without love you are a noisy gong and a clashing cymbal love is not jealous love do not produce anger love is kind so let us see what is our attitude towards our community members towards our people towards all other religion people all religion people are children of our father let us not hate them let us love them let us not criticize them let us be compassionate to them then only we can evangelize to evangelize first we have to love those people whom we have to evangelize shaji shaji shala hala 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 now let us ask the holy spirit to sanctify
Oh, Holy Spirit, sanctify these areas. All these areas. Every day, like we take bath, like we wash, every day we need to sanctify these areas. Sanctify me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse me, Lord. Now, this you could do more time whenever you take, when it is possible. Now next is filling, empowerment. Holy Spirit gives us the fruit of the Spirit, gifts of the Spirit, the charisms of the Spirit, the theological virtues of the Spirit. So let us ask the Holy Spirit to fill us with the love, joy, peace. Pray everybody, fill me Holy Spirit. You can say louder, fill me, maybe you can stand up, stand up, stand up. Fill me Holy Spirit. Fill me, Holy Spirit, everybody. Fill me, Holy Spirit. Fill me with love, joy, peace. Say everybody, louder. Fill me with love, joy, peace. Fill me, Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace. Love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness. Fail patience, kindness, goodness. Faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Love, joy, peace. Love, joy, peace. Fill me, fill me. Love, joy, peace. You can even do a little jogging, jogging, jogging. Love, joy, peace. Come on. Love, joy, peace. Love, joy, peace. Fill me, fill me, fill me, fill me. Love, joy, peace. Fill me, fill me, fill me, fill me. Love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness. Patience, kindness, goodness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace. Love, joy, peace. Love, joy, peace. Fill me, fill me, fill me. Love, joy, peace. Love, joy, peace. Fill me, fill me, fill me, fill me. Love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness. Patience, kindness, goodness. Patience, kindness, goodness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Fill me, fill me, fill me. <sighs> Hallelujah. Now wisdom. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Fill me, fill me. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Wisdom, knowledge, understand. Fill me, fill me. Holy Spirit, oh, Holy Spirit. Fill me, fill me. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Wisdom, knowledge, understand. Wisdom, knowledge, understand. <laughs> okay? It's not a joke. We must also read some portion of the wisdom book. The wisdom says, wisdom is the, is the infinite treasure. Those who gain this treasure, gain friendship with God. How can you be a friend of God? Suppose I am a fool. How can a fool be friend with a man of wisdom. Even we know some people come to us, we say, no, 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 let us avoid that person because that person don't understand anything I speak. Come on, go away. We avoid them. Of course, God will not avoid them, but he feels sad. How much wisdom I want to give you? Okay. Then next is theological virtues, faith, hope, and love. Faith, hope, and love. Three virtues. Faith, hope, and love. Faith, hope, and love. Fill me, fill me, fill me. Faith, hope, and love. Faith, hope, and love. Faith, hope, and love. And then the charisms. We need all charisms. But these charisms are already given to us. You have charism of proclamation. 
carry some of vision, carry some of prophecy, carry some of gift of tongues, carry some of healing, deliverance. All these are already given to us, but we need to stir this. So, Holy Spirit, fill me, open all the charisms. Come on, everybody. Today we are going to do more on charisms. Oh, Holy Spirit, give me more clear charisms. Open all my charism. Everybody, now you can praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open all charisms. Open all charisms. Gift of healing. Gift of deliverance. Gift of healing. Gift of prayer. Gift of faith. Gift of word of knowledge. Gift of word of wisdom. Interpretation of the visions. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Gift of miracles. Gift of miracles. Gift of miracles. Gift of healing. Gift of healing. Gift of miracles. Open the gift of healing. Open the gift of miracles. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Okay. Now please sit down. Now, now, once you received the full love and grace, now you can forgive others. Forgiveness. So in the Our Father prayer, forgiveness is the fifth step. So we should not forgive. We cannot, we may not be able to forgive at the beginning. But now once we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we will be able to forgive. So now you can do that later. These steps you keep yourself after we now go for breakfast. But you can, during after breakfast, you can spend some time on this forgiveness. And then, yeah, maybe you can now open your Bible and take a passage from the New Testament, New Testament, the Gospels. Take a passage from the gospel. Open the gospel and take a passage and read that. Preferably exactly what Jesus spoke. You read, open a page. If you don't find there, another page where Jesus spoke. Jesus' own teaching. Jesus' own words. Okay, please read one or two sentences uh, for a small paragraph and there will be surely an impulse for you. There will be surely a wisdom for you today in that. Take that. That is another way the Lord is speaking to you. Jesus is speaking to you. Now when I opened, the word stuck to me is Matthew 21, 22, which says, Whatever you ask for in prayer with faith, you will receive. Whatever you ask for in prayer with faith, you will receive. Matthew 21, 22. Oh Lord, thank you for this. Increase my faith, Lord. Whatever you ask in prayer, with faith, you will receive. Yes, I believe you are omnipotent. You are almighty. I believe in your sovereignty. And that you are in me. And you already made everything ready for me. I believe, Lord. I believe. I believe. Okay. Now, that is it. After this reflection of this word, then you go back again into the inner self. 